Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. Now, I've got a bit of a predicament that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be dealing with, because about uh, the first part of late... Oh, interesting. The first part of late night, a uh, necromancer spawned. He spawned over here, and the first thing he did was kill a wolf and kill a goblin. He's now made a beeline across the map to uh, to this part here, killing a few of his own skeletons on the way, but also laying waste to any of the surviving goblins and goblin wolf riders. And I don't really know where he's going or what he's doing. And I actually don't have any concept of how I'm going to deal with him. Because I've clearly reached the point within the game where it thinks that I have just fast forward time. I've reached the point within the game where it's I've, I've got enough wealth that I can trigger the spawn. Uh, and so on day 10, it's gone. Yep, time for a necromancer. Um, so yeah, there he is. And this goblin wolf rider is going to get himself bad. He's just setting trees on fire because he's cross. I don't know if the necromancer can walk through water. If he can walk through water, then I'm in trouble. Other than that, I'm just going to have to leave him alone for now and um, let him get on with just setting everything in the map on fire. So the focus for, from my perspective now is going to be on getting the construction work completed for um, my castle wall. And I'm going to do it in fast forward because that should help us condense a lot of work into not a lot of episodes. Why are you digging that? Oh, I've put the wrong brick in the wrong place, have I? Why? Why are you doing that? Why just leave? Okay, we'll leave you. I clear my my logic and my plans are clearly in case. But what the first thing I want, one of the first things I want to do, so the necromancer has now killed that marauder, is cancel all of the mining, except for the wall-based mining. So I don't want any mining to take place except for the mining of the wall. That way I can oops, confirm beyond doubt that the correct work is taking place. As a stonemason, uh, we do need to make sure we've got plenty of these bricks because we're going to want to put a too high wall around our base. So let's add another 50 of these to the queue. Once you've built those 50, we can then get you involved in the whole concept of... Oh, you pair of idiots. Sometimes you just can't, you can't get the help, can you? You just can't get the help. So... In fast forward mode. Oh no! Apparently they're not apocalyptic idiots. They can. They can do their own thing. That's good. So we're gonna try and blitz through some of the building work. Now I was tempted to do this offline without recording it and then just come back into the game. But because A, the people that responded to the previous video said no, they wanted to see me do it, I will. And B, because the necromancer spawned, I thought, shit, not really going to be able to um, let this bad boy just lay waste to my map and come back in and say, yeah, no, it's fine. It was a, it was a hot, sunny day, and uh, one of the goblins had a couple of beers, and uh, the piece of glass broke, a bit of refraction through the sun, and uh, yeah, it caught on fire. I didn't think that would uh, that would go down too well. So, I'm not quite sure why the Necromancer is just laying waste to the map in a diagonal. But I'm sure that will all become apparent when he starts making his way, I don't know, maybe up here. It's the best way he can get to me. And, yeah. Ideally, we'd really like to perhaps get another Migrant. But, pretty sure, based off of the enemy spawns situation... If I was to throw the uh, the hall down over here for an off chance of a spawn, 
I'd probably find that it won't happen. Oh! Was my whore here? Is he going to now prove if he can or can't walk through water? A merchant has arrived at your settlement. So immediately after placing down the hall, a merchant arrived. Damn you, game. Damn you. Merchant's boring. I don't want merchants. Can't do anything with it. Although the necromancer can't cross water, which is exciting because it means that he can't, you now the skeletons can't chase my hall. What's this? What is this? That's a dead wolf. I wonder what killed that. Anyway. Yeah, sorry merchant. I... I... Couldn't help but notice you've reached the end of the map and just kind of glitched there. Are you going to... Uh... No? There you go. Disappear. So that's good. So it means that hall is working. And the necromancer's arrival is phenomenal because it means the skeletons will leave my hall alone. So technically I could put the hall over here now. And then we could deal with... You've gone a long way from your construction work. Then we could deal with a whole lot of stuff. What's happened here? I'm very confused. Um, quick build some... Oh, the water's flooded in. Okay. Let's build that. Izzy wizzy, let's get busy. You've got a stockpile there, that's fine. You could probably do with a builder's cart. bit higher up here somewhere that will help you get the the resources that you need probably and then let's throw another one down up here and another one down somewhere along here give me plenty of access to all of that stuff my food is now hitting 80 so are you are you my farmer I can't remember who my farmer was no, you're not my farmer. You're my farmer. Uh, who's my fisherman? I might need to go back on fishing duties for a while, just to top me food up a bit. Well, you are rinsing this building. Your level 14 building skills are proving well worthwhile. So when we hit 50 food, we'll have to put you back on fishing. And then we'll probably take the... So you're not actually doing anything are you of any benefit right now so let's put you on to builder and then we can put you more quickly back onto the fisherman role so we're safe along here we need to build bit more protection here to prevent them getting in. Put another set of one high. You just need basically to get a two high wall all the way around the edge. Once you've got a two high wall all the way around the edge, there's no way that the uh, normal mobs can get in. Then we can have a look at building some sort of sneaky underground tunnel to maybe get the um, the migrants and spawning around the edge to build an underground tunnel along there. And then we're good to go. Well, not good to go because we're still massively... Were they, were they there before? What's been killing all of these wolves? Must have been the skeletons, I guess. Necromancer is trying desperately to set fire to everything. Kill this spider. Necromancer, kill this spider. This spider is... Uh, this spider is, is making jokes on the internet about your mom. I really wouldn't like the spider boss to spawn as well. That would be... Um, That'd be pretty sucky.
So we're actually racing through this. We've now hit 58, so we'll go for Fisherman. So get yourself back, back on basic fishing duties. Plenty of hammers and plenty of picks for now, so that's fine. Oh, you finished. I didn't even notice that you'd finished. So you're my carpenter, aren't you? Nope, you're not my carpenter. What the hell are you then? Other than... You are literally of no use to me except for... Ah. So let's get you to gather berries. And we want you to gather these berries, if you can. Once you've gathered the berries, we can get rid of that stupid bloody piece of dirt. You're racing through this. You're doing exactly what I asked you to do. Rinsing through the building work. So at least now with the construction all working properly, this see that this I've built more of this castle in the last eleven minutes of this day than I have built of the whole of the last like ten days. Uh ah! Guessing that was the game saving, was it? I've reached midday, so maybe so you're going to try and leave the island now, aren't you? So that's fine. We'll cancel cancel you as a forager. Surely you've got food in your inventory. Nope, you're just going to get straight on with mining. But that actually probably makes more sense. Though you're about to become a miner, it's more sense to give you a building role. And. Uh, Go through the process of putting some uh, some raw stone in place along here. Get all of this work sorted out. I don't know where you're going because you know there's building work to do here. You're walking in a massive circle. I. I don't even know what you're doing. I went to get some bricks from somewhere totally random. Mm hmm. So, how's it all going? Now, this appears to be a solid black. Oops, I'm assuming it's not like a, an infinite amount of coal. I can't even mine it. No, I'm assuming this is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a glitched, it's a glitched uh, portion of the map. So there's a portion of the map which is below the surface and it's totally invisible to the game. Yep, so you're all pro through there. So, we've got enough stone, that's fine. I don't know what you're doing, where are you going? Are you broken? Are you glitched? Are you having a pathfinding fail? Nope, you're just collecting stone. Oh no! What? No! Something has catastrophically gone wrong. None of the section at wrap. I managed to need a component, get component. So, oh feck. This must be reloaded to prevent further corruption. Okay. Well, uh, that brings an end to that then. So let's have a quick look at how far back in the past we are. And then we'll cry and um, go from there. So here we are. Just loading back in. Then the game all rendering. So it's the afternoon of day 10. Back down to standard snail speed. Let's have a look. So the bushes are gone. That path. Oh, it's milliseconds. So let's see if we save it again. 
No, it crashes again. Oh, don't tell me my world is corrupted. Ah, ah I'm going to die. Ah, ah fuck. <laughs> it's... This is the end. Shitty, shitty bastard. Okay. So. Let's give it another go. Let's see what it loads. And we're in. And we're recording. So we've rendered in. We're still at the same point in time. We're still building our things. Everything is fine. If I scroll down in the world, do I see the error? Yep. So it would appear that huge sections of my island are this. So there's a massive exception occurred in my save. Ah, oh, bollocks. And as a result, let's have a look anywhere else. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, cock. Um, so, yeah. This would appear to be game over. Uh, shit. I'm not quite sure what to do with this right now. And uh, so, yeah. I'll have it one last go at saving. Way It's saved. Oh, good. We are recovered. So, we can return back to fast forward mode. Oh, is it saving in fast forward mode, does it? No? Whew! So, I was nearly about to cry into the microphone. A fully grown man, sitting and playing games in the evening, about to cry because his game had broken. But, crisis adverted. Crisis adverted? Crisis averted in any context. The game has successfully recovered itself, so we can continue to enjoy the world of timber and stone. We can continue to pass our time building castles and trying not to get killed by necromancers and skeletons. Although, you're not killing that spider, which is kind of what I want you to do. Oh, what the fuck is going on with all these walls? I keep moving. It's really confusing. The game knows they're dead, it just doesn't know where they're dead. Okay, so we are storming through this. We've got a couple of miners mining. A couple of miners mining. Let's have a look at our storage. How much space we've got left for mine? We're quite good on mining. Armour and weapons are a bit low on, but then we never need them. Building supplies, we're quite good at. You're, you've still got plenty of building to do, I hope. Oops, pressed all of the wrong buttons in. So there's plenty of building for you to do. Could do with putting a um, mining stockpile. Just chuck it down over here somewhere. Just so that you can get to more resources. Like so. Don't all go at once. It's pissing annoying when you all go at once. Um... What are you doing as a stonemason again? What did I set you as? Did I put you to... I put you to builder, didn't I? No, I'm very confused. Where are you taking that fish? Did you... What? What did you just do? What did you just do? Properly suspicious view. We're going to need to pull this grass down as well, aren't we? Not build. It's going to be dig mine. Get rid of this because it's going to cause me problems when I build my wall. That's been built. You're going to go start carrying on working with that. That's all good. You're building from there. That's good. My raw stone is not quite filling up as much as I'd like because most of this has been dug from sand. What have you stopped fashing around for? I keep you. I'm, I, oh, I'm using all my good quality pickaxes, aren't I? It's going to set me back a bit, but it's going to be worth it in the long term. So let's start building 
actually are you we need to start building the the too high wall that's in the wrong place apparently here we go so let's zoom this along here oh, I keep forgetting to put it back into fast forward mode all good it's all good Whew. so we've hit the uh, proverbial 20 minute mark in the episode I think 20 minutes is a good length for an episode I probably could have got to the end of the day uh, a little bit more efficiently if I'd not forgotten to put fast forward back on again I think fast forwarding through these days is going to be quite useful because although not a massive amount has happened at the same time actually a massive amount has happened so with working miners and working builders, the construction on my castle wall has almost doubled in its coverage compared to where we were from the first nine days of 1.4. So I'll leave it there just as we come into the evening of day 10. I'm just going to finish letting these guys fast forward through and then uh, I'm going to watch this bad boy down here like a hawk to make sure it doesn't glitch his way through the water or anything like that. And as long as he's happily popping along over there, I can happily keep my uh, my hall up here with two possibilities for migrants, which means I could get I could get some migrants coming day 11. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you on day 11, where we're going to hopefully get ourselves most of the way through building my castle. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, bye for now.